everyone, Ace of Clay here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another sculpting video. But if you're new here, I'm a sculptor and every week I make a new sculpture. So be sure to hit that like button and subscribe so that you don't miss any future videos. Today, by popular demand, we're jumping back into the Nightmare Before Christmas world and I'm sculpting the mayor. Last year I made Oogie Boogie, Jack Skellington, and Sally. And I'm really excited to bring this series back for this year's spooky season and started off with the mayor. He is definitely one of my top favorite characters. I know I say this for all of them, but I really, honestly, I don't think there's any characters from this movie that I don't like. This is a really fun series for me because this movie holds such a special place in my heart. I remember watching it over and over as a kid in my living room and it introduced me to Tim Burton and Henry Selleck and that whole sort of creepy style that I just sort of gravitate to now and I just love everything about it and I really hope you enjoy watching me sculpt these characters. Eventually one day I would love to have sculpted every single one from the movie. So with all that said, I really hope you enjoy watching me sculpt the mayor in this full-length tutorial process video and without further ado check me out on Facebook Instagram and Twitter at Ace of Clay and let's get started all right let's get started I've got my wooden plaque here with my holes drilled for the armature wire this is where his legs are going to go and then I'm going to start shaping out the rest of his body with some aluminum wire and I say it like that just because he's got a really weird large shape so I'm not really going to be focusing on you know shoulders and waist like I normally do it's just going to be a sort of supportive like structure that's going to hold his large body so let's just go ahead and do that now and then of course all the materials that you see me use in this video are listed in the description box below along with my affiliate links if you want to purchase anything All right, so we've got his legs figured out here. I'm gonna start bulking out everything with some aluminum foil, and then we're gonna go over that with some ultralight. The biggest thing that I'm concerned about with this guy is making the proportions correct because that's either going to make or break him. So I'm gonna just take my time and just compare him to photographs as often as possible and see where it goes. So let's get started. All right, now the rest we're going to build up with some ultralight. I think this is a good base to start with. So, and then before I do that, I wanna add some bacon bod or oven baked clay adhesive to the surface of the foil, just so the ultralight sticks nice and securely. All right, now let's start adding some Super Sculpey ultralight. All right, there we go. The armature is figured out. I'm gonna go ahead and bake this and then we'll come back and start adding our final layer of clay. Be right back. And now that he's baked and completely cooled down, it's time to add our final layer of clay. I'm using Super Sculpey Original. All right, there we go. I got all my clay conditioned. I rolled it through my pasta maker on the thickest setting and I'm gonna start applying it to this ultralight. All right, now that his body is done, looking pretty good, we're gonna go ahead and work on those legs and then his shoes. All 
All right, now that the body and the legs and everything look pretty good, I'm gonna go ahead and create that sort of overhang of his coat by adding this flat piece of clay around the edge. So let's go ahead and get that on. All right, now that we've got his body and arms to a good point, I'm gonna go ahead and start his head. I'm actually gonna make this so that I can turn his head to the two different personalities that he has. So let's go ahead and do that now. Hey, it's me again. Now, before we get into the rest of the video, I just wanna take a second to talk about the brand new desk that I've been using. This is the FlexiSpot Comhar All-in-One Standing Desk EW8. It's got this awesome little drawer here that I can put all my sculpting tools in, my paintbrushes, paints, I can even stick like a whole brick of clay in there and shut it. It's the perfect size for what I'm using it for and it's just such great quality. Then over here at the end here, we have some USB ports and even a USB-C so you can charge your phone, your iPad, whatever you're working on. And then the best feature of course is the ability to raise and lower the desk just by pressing a button. So here you press the up arrow, makes the desk taller so you can stand at it. And then you press the down arrow to make the desk shorter. Or you can use the memory presets that'll take the desk to the height that you set the preset for. Just like magic. And another thing, I'm really tall, I'm 6'5", and this desk can be adjusted to be the perfect standing height for me. So if I want to sculpt standing up right now, I totally could comfortably. It's perfect, I can rest my elbows on it. It's awesome. And all in all, this is the perfect desk for me. It is the perfect depth, width, everything. It is great quality, and I seriously would not recommend something to you that I personally did not like. I am going to be using this desk in every single YouTube video that I post from here on out. And trust me, if I didn't like the desk, I wouldn't be doing that. So if you wanna get your hands on this amazing desk, again, this is the Comhar All-in-One Standing Desk EW8. Check out the links in my description box below. Thank you so much to FlexiSpot for sending me this awesome desk. Can't wait to keep using it. Now back to the video.
All right, there we go. I made this little stand for the head to bake separately from the body just so that hole that I have in there can let all the air out. So I'm gonna go ahead and bake these and then we'll come back and paint. Be right back. And now that he's baked and completely cooled down, it's time for paint. All the paints that I'm using in this video are, of course, folk art brand matte acrylics. All right, first I'm gonna start with a nice medium gray tone for the majority of his jacket, and then we're gonna go in and, of course, do the details, do his pants, and yeah, he's gonna be a lot of fun to paint. I'm really looking forward to it. And he is done. My sculpture of the mayor from The Nightmare Before Christmas is complete. Let me know what you think of him in the comments.
am so happy with how this guy turned out. Like seriously, I was not expecting to like him this much. I'm really proud of him. I can honestly say that I'm very proud of this sculpture and he fits right in with Jack and Sally. He's the correct scale for them. And I just, I'm really excited. And I'm really glad that I made him with a head that can turn. You know, yeah, it comes out completely and everything, but you know, you can be either one. And that's probably one of the most important things about his character. I'm really glad I did that and I didn't take the easy way out. So anyway, again, let me know how you think I did in the comments. And as always, thank you so much for watching and being here. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know who you want me to sculpt next and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.